how much of this is you know, your, your guys' willingness to, to have cost certainty year after year, the next couple of years, this three-year offer that you made to them? Well, look, you know, first of all, I think there's a, there's a presumption among the fans, which is not necessarily true, that if you, if you go to arbitration, you know, there's, uh, there's some animosity or that it's, a, you know, contentious. And uh, you know them from doing these. I mean, you know, the, the situation is that we have a tremendous talent who is who has been who has performed exceptionally well in his two major first uh, major league seasons full major league seasons and should be rewarded and it's just and and the other thing good news for giants fans is that as a super two tim lincecum is going to be with the giants for four years at least and hopefully a lot longer so you know what what we want to do is we want to make sure you know cost certainty is one thing we also want to make sure that Whatever the number is, you know, in year one, it's a it's, it's a number that is uh, sustainable as we take him as he takes us through hopefully additional Cy Young years. So it's a you know it's a back and forth and look there are lots of possible outcomes. It, the case could be settled, the case could go to a hearing, and uh, either way, if it goes to a hearing, you know, uh, Brian Sabian reminds us you know that there have been people that have gone to hearings that. You know, have stayed with their teams for 10, 15 years. Ryan Howard went to a hearing a couple of years ago, and two things happened after he went to the hearing. The uh, Phillies won the World Series, and he signed a long-term deal. When you're dealing with a player in terms of the years that he is not eligible for free agency, we're talking about these arbitration years, what is right. the incentive for any team to sign these guys to these multi-year deals because are you are you trying to romance them? Are you trying to convince them that wearing that jersey is important for their whole career? What's the the mindset mindset behind any player? Well, I mean, I, I'll say this. I mean, if you if it's if you set the deal at a, at a at a decent number, then you know you can the team can do better potentially. Um, they're willing to take the risk, and, and, and they will do better than you would do in an in the arbitration process. You know, and that, that's a possibility. I mean, with Matt Cain, we um, are in the middle of a, of a uh, set deal through the arbitration years, and Matt has performed very well. And, um, and I think it's been, it's been a fair deal. Uh, you know, with Tim, we, it's not so much, I mean, I don't think, you know, there's this notion of harmony and the notion that, well, you know, if you don't offer a player a three-year deal, then he's going to, uh, you know, there's going to be, he's going to clench his teeth every time he thinks about the Giants for the next four years. I think that's really, a, a, you know, kind of a, a misperception, a big misperception. But I think that, you know, if you believe in the player and the talent, um, you know, not going through it every year and having a having a set number is, is, is makes sense. I mean, is there a risk for the club? Sure. There's always injury risk and all that. But, um, you know, in the case of Tim Lincecum, we, we feel pretty good.